Hey guys, it's me, Jared G. Just getting ready to bring in the new year, 2017, 2016, shipping out. I figured I'd take advantage of the situation and uh, make a new video, heading us into the new year. For Christmas, I got a new piece of equipment uh, trying to allow me to make better videos, have better options, hold my camera better, so look, you're facing a new direction today. It's kind of exciting to figure out what I can and can't do. What are things that you wanna do? your focus for the new year. Tonight I'm gonna go out and party. We're gonna go see Katya. I don't know if you guys follow RuPaul's Drag Race or any of the amazing plethora of drag queens, but Katya is one of the funniest people I know. She also has a show on YouTube uh, with Trixie Mattel uh, called... Mm, I always forget how many U's and G's and N's are in that, but it's a funny show. Check it out. Well, we're gonna go see Katya perform at DJ Nina Flowers tonight, also from RuPaul's Drag Race and here, Denver local legend. I wonder what their resolutions are. They've traveled the world. They've performed in places bigger than they probably thought possible. Uh, and in the last, you know, 10, 15 years, I'm sure they've had amazing highs and some pretty weird lows. For me, internally, I thought, what are things that I've wanted to do, but I've never really set forth that goal, put that energy there, made it happen. But I'm gonna try and make it happen. I'm gonna try and make things uh, go my way. They usually go my way, because I'm big, and so like, if they don't get out of the way, then they kind of just keep going, <laughs> and it's the way I go. But, 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 I think what I wanna do is I wanna see medium. Uh, there's some TV mediums I grew up watching that seemed mm, less than, fantastic. There's some TV mediums that I love. I love Long Island medium. Teresa Caputo and her family, they are so positive and fun and great. They give each other crap, but they're always laughing. There's always a, a chuckle. You know, her big, I was gonna say her big hair. <laughs> I love her hair. Teresa, I love you. Her big personality, her big vibe, her inability to kind of hold herself in. She just can't wait to share news and information with people. But I love that. But I love thinking about uh, what somebody who's passed on in my past or my family who's no longer with us might have to say. Do you guys believe in medium? Hocus Pocus, do you think it's just the editing? Um, have you ever had them in person? Did they change your life? Did they make it worse? Did they make you believe? There's uh, Tyler, Tyler Henry, the Hollywood medium. He's adorable. He smiles so much. He's so happy. He's sometimes smiles because he doesn't know what else to do. He's so young, he doesn't always know who the people he's reading, uh, which is kind of entertaining, because then he doesn't want to know who he's going to read for. So somebody drives him. I think they actually drive, I don't even know if Tyler has a license at this point, I'm not sure. Maybe that's his goal, is to get a license, but he still would not want to know who he's going to, but he gets these vibes and feelings on his way to the readings, but sometimes he gets there and he's like, oh, cool, but he, you, you could tell he doesn't know who they are. The other one is Monica the Medium, who I love, and she's been working with a guy, and I can't remember his name, but uh, he used to show up on talk shows and stuff when I was growing up. And it's just interesting to me. One of my favorite people, Rosie O'Donnell, got a reading when she had a show on uh, the Oprah Winfrey Network uh, where the woman was actually from Denver, and her name was uh, Rosen, I believe. And she read very similar to Teresa, but mellow, just like calm and quiet. I'm not like that, I'm kind of loud and crazy, but it still made me want to go see it. I think my goal, my resolution is to set forth a plan to meet with a medium. Maybe more than one. I want to do a family reading and I want to do an individual reading. And I just want to see who comes forth. I didn't put a lot of thought into who I wanted to hear from. Uh, I have grandparents that have passed away who I love dearly. Father is no longer with friends who I grew up with who passed away. But sometimes these people will get readings from ancestors like, uh, like my grandfather passed away the same day Martin Luther King Jr. was was assassinated. Uh, so I didn't know him, I wasn't alive then. I wonder if he's been watching over us. You never know, you never know what's gonna come from. But I'm just wondering, so comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Do you believe in it, do you not believe? Is it hocus pocus? Uh, and are you interested? Also, what are your New Year's resolutions? I hope 2017 is wonderful for you. I hope you guys find a dream and make it happen or take steps to complete goals. Sometimes just set achievable goals and what you end up finding out is that those goals lead to bigger accomplishments. So uh, stay positive, be the love that we need, and uh, enjoy yourselves. This is uh, Jared G, the Big Chubby Unicorn Bear, signing off. Happy New Year, and uh, have a good one. We'll see you guys later.